Welcome back to Basement Movie Room again. We're back with a 90s action yes. fest today. We watched two movies tonight, but we're going to review one at a time. So you'll get this one, and then you will get the next one. Uh, this one is Stone Cold from 1990, starring Brian Bosworth, William Forsyth, and Lance Henriksen. So Stone Cold follows Brian Bosworth's character, John Huff, who is a police officer mm -hmm. in Alabama, uh, undercover, uh, knows a lot about biker gangs for some reason, yeah. although I don't he think that's... I guess he infiltrated a lot yeah. of biker gangs. Yeah. It's never made super clear. Before. Yeah. Never made super clear why he knows a lot about biker gangs, yeah. but he goes undercover as John Stone, original name, uh, with a... Biker game called The Brotherhood, led up by Lance Henriksen. And uh, I, I guess they're after him for drugs and murders. And there's a judge that was murdered at some point uh, yeah. because he he put a, one of the members in jail for like 25 years. Mm -hmm. uh, so so Stone goes undercover yeah, to for, try to... For murdering a priest. Yeah. And they, yeah. He, he, he murders a, a Baptist minister. Is yeah. So they all the guy looks totally like a priest. Yeah. Because uh, they show that. So uh, Bosworth's character goes undercover, agrees to go undercover with the FBI. Uh, Sam McMurray is his partner in the FBI. Yes. Uh, you'll recognize him from mm -hmm. a various number of movies. He's a character actor. Yeah. So he, Christmas vacation. Yeah, Christmas no, vacation. Notably, yeah. Yeah, he's the best, he's the friend at work Yeah, at Christmas yeah. vacation. So you see Bosworth infiltrate this gang, and it doesn't really take much. He just kind yeah. of uh, messes with William Forsythe's character yeah. in a bar, and then one of the guys kind of gets him in with Lance Hendrickson, and he immediately goes to the top of the gang, essentially. Oh, oh gut. Oh, gut. Got him in the game. Poor old gut. <laughs> Yeah, poor Gut has a has a heck of a time in the movie. So Bosworth gets in with the gang. He he figures out kind of what their plans are, and he sets to sell them P2P, which is a an ingredient in meth, to try to catch them and the Italian mafia. And the funny thing is, this is set in Biloxi, Mississippi, so yeah. I doubt there's really any Italian mafia in Biloxi, Mississippi, no. but nonetheless, that's what they do. Big drug game. Yeah. And, Big uh, drugs. And mob down in Biloxi. Yeah. yeah. So many. Mob. Careful down there. Yeah. yeah, the Italians in Biloxi. Yeah. Down. yeah. <laughs> New York Italians. Yeah. It's a little out of place. But so, at least they cast the guys correct. Yeah. yeah. We'll get into that in yeah. the next film. Yeah, so Bosworth <laughs> gets in there and uh, he sets up a deal for this P2P and uh, Henriksen kind of gets on to him. And they switch up the deal so he's not able to bust him with this deal. And he's his cover's blown because he tells Henriksen's girlfriend that he's a cop, essentially. Yeah. And it's just, it's all a kind of a silly storyline overall. But this movie's actually pretty entertaining. Yeah. Uh, honestly. I mean, the plot is, is, is a nothing burger plot. I mean, it's nothing to the plot. It's yeah. not important to the movie. It's just, it's it is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. But... Shockingly, the movie is well acted. Yeah. Even Bosworth is pretty good in this yeah. movie. The acting's great. Yeah. The the stunt work. Stunts was are great. pretty yeah, pretty good. I mean the cycles, the yeah. all the riding and stuff is very good. And I'm fairly certain that Bosworth and Forsyth did a lot of that riding in, yeah. in certain scenes and the other guys 100%. did a lot of that riding. The helicopter scene? Yeah, the helicopter Flying with low, Max Dad right. from Always Sunny. <laughs> yeah. Flying yeah. low through the street. There. Yeah, it looks okay. good. It, was, it all yeah. looks very good for 1990. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was it was a lot of practical effects. Yeah. The yeah. only, the only non-believable thing though, with the stuff work was when Bosworth fell 40 feet from a helicopter. <laughs> and it it's clearly a dummy. <laughs> it's clearly a dummy falling out of yeah. the helicopter. It is, you can tell it's like. Hit a marble very stiff. On his head and just yeah. popped up with just one little scratch. Scratched his face yeah. after forty foot fall. Other than that, though, everything was it was pretty. Good. Yeah, pretty terrific, pretty terrific stunt choreography in this movie. Yeah, Bosworth turns in a pretty good performance. Shockingly, we, had, we neither one of us had seen this movie since 
early night probably, probably when it came out yeah yeah when it came out i'm sure i watched it with uh greg i think that's who i watched it yeah yeah and greg's a friend of ours so i mean shout out greg you're probably not watching what's up greg <laughs> yeah but you should you should yeah so i mean yeah i mean i've not seen it in years but we found it and we were like we need to watch this again yeah. and check it out for the for the channel and, and, and here we are but yeah i mean it kept my interest through the whole movie it, mm -hmm. it's it's a schlocky 90s yeah. action fun. movie, but it's fun. And that's that's all I really ask for my action movies is fun. Yeah. And Why not? And you stayed awake for the whole thing. I did stay awake for the whole thing. <laughs> it was the earlier movie. The second movie, not so much. Yeah. I, I did have trouble. But yeah, I mean, Bosworth's good. Hendrickson yeah. is, although not a super imposing villain. No. He is, uh, he's a good villain. And then Forsyth is great as usual for the mm -hmm. part he's in the movie. But uh, overall, yeah, yeah, fun movie. We we kind of brought up that you know Bo Jackson would have been a good villain. Yeah, they should have cast Bo Jackson <laughs> as the villain in this movie. Although having a black having a black man as the head of a motorcycle gang the with rebel flags and well, called the Brotherhood who have rallies probably wouldn't have worked. Well, clearly you can uh, you can make it work. Yeah, we, we'll talk about that in the next. We we will talk about that in the next <laughs> review. The, uh, the funny thing is, though, is, is that the ending, it uh, all becomes very ridiculous at yeah. the end with, yeah. the, with what happens at the end. They with don't the whole, wrap it up. You know. Yeah, I mean, they just, it yeah. just goes off the rails at the end. It's still entertaining, but it's just, it's just crazy. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the goods in this movie are actually Bosworth. Bosworth's really good in this yeah. movie. I mean, I don't know why he didn't do more movies. I guess kind of the muscle-bound guy in the 90s was kind of ending we weren't getting like schwarzenegger and yeah and stallone in the 90s we were getting different kind of movies we, you know the 80s were kind of that muscle bound mm -hmm. hero and this was coming out of the yeah this was like right yeah. at 1990 and just you know it's so, a weird transitional time you know, and, but you know he's good in the dr pepper commercials yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's the sheriff of of fanville or whatever it is but yeah, Bosworth was very good in this movie. Henriksen's yeah. just good as usual. He's always good. Forsyth is just at his best insane. Yeah. I mean, Forsyth is... His, his funeral scene is <laughs> the most insane <laughs> it's, part of this it's movie. It's his best acting. Oh my God. It, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Supposedly in, in Biloxi, you can just pick up dead bodies. Yeah, just pick up a dead body. Yeah. Him. And yeah. Why not? Why not? Yeah. So, Pre-made them yourself. So yeah, I mean, performances are good. Uh -huh. The soundtrack is forgettable to overall. It's just a just it's kind meh. of B, B movie. Yeah, it, it's a B yes. movie soundtrack. They weren't yeah. gonna pay a lot for the soundtrack. No, but I mean, I was actually surprised at how much I enjoyed this yeah. movie. I, I really think, was. I think I liked it more now. <laughs> yeah, I think it's better now yeah. than it was in nineteen ninety. Because back then, 1991. I watched it and I forgot about it. Yeah. Now I'm like. Well, I remember that movie. clearly we didn't forget about yeah. it because you brought it up to watch it again. Yeah. And I was like, holy crap, I found it on YouTube. Yeah. Let's watch it. It's on YouTube. Full movie. It's on YouTube. You can watch it on YouTube because you can't find it streaming anywhere else. Well, I, I just like all the gifs that go with it. Yeah. You know, I use those in fancy football and he all takes, that. Uh, yeah. He takes those sunglasses glasses. off with, uh, you know. <laughs> with, with some he's serious... Gotta, he's he's got to whip that... Yeah. That uh, mullet around. Oh, the mullet. The it's a, oh, it's a great mullet. The mullet is amazing, yeah. and it's the dyed mullet because his hair all down in the roots is yeah. very brown. It's more like a mole tail. Yeah, it's yeah. Like the opening. Tail. Oh, the opening of the movie is fantastic. Where you get the grocery store scene yeah. where the four nineteen uh, eighties villains come into the grocery <laughs> store to rob the grocery store, which they're getting like what conservative like. Eight hundred thousand dollars for robbing a grocery store. Yeah, all yeah. four of them, like two hundred fifty bucks a piece. It's yeah. not worth the time. <laughs> that that opening scene. Not robbing great. a bank, they're robbing a grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, oh, Bosworth's outfits also oh, fantastic in this yeah. movie. Like the duster he wears in the grocery store with the That's like amazing. large shoulder pads of mm -hmm. like fake snake skin and and his layer jacket with the skunk skin, I think, on yes, the side of it, yes. the alligator wrist uh, or elbow pads. And he, uh, Hendrickson's outfits were great. Yeah. He pretty much wore like a, a me-through shirt. Yeah, it's, it's see-through. It's, yeah, yeah. it's see-through, but it's yeah. just, it's short. And yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah. it's great. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, it's a fun movie. Yeah. That's all there is to it. This is a fun, fun. freaking movie. 100% and, fun. And you should definitely watch it. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't think of any reason not to watch it because yeah. it's just fun. Yeah. It's a fun movie. I mean, <laughs> the uh, the girl in the movie becomes his love interest. I think she's going to get through it. Yeah. Also. No. 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 Spoiler, Spoiler alert. She is shot right in the head. Just right Gone. in the head. Yeah. Just She's going. done. Just threw her away. Yep. And, uh, you know, stuff like that. It's, it's, it's just fun. They kind of got away from the whole formula of uh, the, the the macho guy falling in love with the girl. Thing. Yeah. So I, I, I kind of appreciate that. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah. that was good. That, that, that yeah. he kind of, like, I mean, he wasn't happy about what happened, but yeah. it's like he wasn't, like, devastated or anything you know he just went in and killed everybody at the end yeah yeah so yeah i mean really fun movie definitely check it out let's go to rating on it because i went back and watched it yeah oh yeah yeah. it was a good watch yeah i knew when i watched like the first five minutes the other day on youtube i was like we gotta watch this oh yeah for sure 100 percent. all right i'll let you rate first oh gosh so for this uh this is a whole different animal. Yeah, it's it's not a good so gotta, movie, but it's a fun movie. I guess we gotta put it in the the eighties slash nineties action movies. Yeah. Which is tough because there's a lot of good ones. Yeah. Oh uh, man. I, I'd say three five. You're right on my level because okay. I was gonna go three five as well. Yeah, it's not like a great movie. No. We're not like talking like Oscar worthy stuff like, here, but a lot of fun. No, that's the thing. It's yeah. a lot of fun to watch. 100%. Yeah, a lot of fun. And nobody's really bad in it. it no. it's like there's some there's some goofy stuff in it. But I I was expecting to go in and I brought it up to you. I was like the corniness is not there. It's not corny. Yeah. This, I figured going back in, into this movie, I was going to be like, oh my god, this is so corny, but it wasn't it's bad. Not, it's not, it, it's not, it wasn't there. It's not one of those movies that's so bad it's good. It's yeah. actually pretty decent. Yeah. It's a decent movie. So, I mean, 3535, five, we're both on the same like level. It. That's exactly yeah. what I was thinking when I finished it. So, yeah. All right. Anything else? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're also uh, streaming these. <laughs> we're we're going to start streaming yeah. our live reaction to these movies. We did it tonight. Nobody watched. Yeah. But if in the future you're interested, on Fridays around 7 o'clock, we'll start streaming these movies mm-hmm. that we watch. And you can join us on there. I'll try to get the chat actually involved next time, even though nobody chatted this time. So <sighs> join us on a stream and then join us for the reviews on YouTube as you have today. Thanks for watching, yeah. and we'll see you next time on Basement Burger. And uh, give us some, you know, advice on what beers to drink that Yeah, time. yeah. We're doing so. Vido, 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 Vido Rangers, Vido, Vido Rangers IPAs, <laughs> Imperial IPAs. So. Yes. All right, we'll see All you right. next time. Cheers. I'm gonna kill Miss Tinsel Teeth. You wanna play? Okay, come here. Try me. Ha! <laughs>